Welcome to a Sunshine State of Mind Yoga. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a chair yoga class that's going to focus on fun and strengthening our body, particularly our lower half of our body, our legs. But we'll do a full body um, practice today. And I wanted to introduce alternate nostril breathing to you. In Sanskrit, it's called Nadi Shodhana. And this is a wonderful pattern of breathing that alternates between the left and the right side of the nostrils and brings us into balance. So not only balancing the breath, but also our body and our brain. So to practice this, we're gonna use our right hand and we're gonna hover it over our face. Then we're gonna utilize our thumb and our ring finger to open and close our right and left nostrils. So thumb over the right, ring finger over the left. So position your hand in front of your face, thumb and, forth and uh, ring finger hovering over the nostrils. Let's begin by taking a nice deep breath in. And then just let that go. As you breathe in, close off your right nostril with your thumb, breathe in through the left side. At the top, close it off with the ring finger and exhale through the right. Stay here, breathe in through the right side. Close it off with the thumb and exhale through the left. Now that's one round, this horseshoe shaped pattern of breath. Let's do two more. Inhale through the left. Close it off at the top. Exhale through the right. Stay here to breathe in. Thumb closes it off. Exhale through the left side. Inhale left side. Close it off with the ring finger. Exhale right. Breathe in right side. Close it off with the thumb, exhale left. Release the hands down, close your eyes. Take a few breaths and just notice how clear the breathing passage is. Can you feel the effects of this wonderful balancing practice? bringing you some clarity, maybe helping to defog your mind a little bit, an ease of breath, a balancing between left and right sides. With all the energy of summer and the running around, this is a great breathing practice to uh, get into the habit of doing if you ever need to bring yourself into center. All right, flutter your eyes open and I'll join you in your chairs if you are already there. And we'll take a seat at the edge of our chair, bringing our feet forward. Just move the camera a bit so you can see my feet better. Toes pointing forward, knees stacked right over our ankles, and our shoulders are right over our hips. We're sitting nice and tall, finding a good connection between our sit bones and a long spine lifting up through the crown of our head. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. And I want you to feel a little bit of engagement of that belly button or navel pulling towards your spine. You wanna feel that. This is gonna help stabilize your low back as we move. So opening up the body with some gentle movement. Let's bring our arms out to a T with the palms facing down. And then as you inhale, rotate the palms up towards the sky. Feel that external rotation of your shoulders. Your thumbs are pointing back. As you exhale, thumbs roll down and back, internal rotation. So we're just moving the arms and the shoulders here. Nothing else yet. And we'll just keep breathing, inhaling to open up and exhaling as we make our internal rotation. 
So just feel this isolation in the shoulders themselves, strengthening our shoulders and our arms as we kind of bear some weight by keeping them lifted like this. Now feel free to start to open your chest, maybe round on the exhale, just adding the upper back and the neck into the movement as we build on to this, warming up the body and syncing up our movement with our breath. Good. Now, the next time you inhale, let's bring the arms back and open up the chest nice and wide. Feel like your shoulder blades are kissing one another on your backside. Now, as you exhale, you're gonna turn the palms to the face out, bring the back of the hands to meet as you round and curl. So we're stretching the shoulder blades apart here. Good, inhale, now open up. The shoulder blades meet on the back. You lift from the center of your chest. Maybe you look up. As you exhale, flip the hands. The back of the hands are gonna meet as you stretch them forward. Round and tuck your chin towards your chest. Let's do that two more times. Inhale as we open. Oh, should feel good. Exhale as we round, pull your navel in towards your spine and hollow out your belly. One more, inhale to open and exhale to round. Really stretch your arms out and away from your shoulders and then come on up to sit. Let's bring our right arm straight across our body and hook that left elbow underneath your extended arm. If this doesn't feel so great, you can always grab your wrist from underneath and just tug your arm to straight across your chest. The closer you bring your arm to your chest, the intent, more intense the stretch will be. So find something that's gonna work for you as we breathe into it. See how my right shoulder is kind of hiking up there. Do your best to draw it down and continue to extend. My shoulders are very tight. So they are definitely feeling this. Remember to breathe. Yes. Big, big stretch here, no matter what you've been doing. I'm sure we could all benefit from this. Good, and then take your hand underneath, reach for your elbow, so that left hand, and bring that right elbow up and overhead. And then gently tug it towards the middle of your spine. So you're letting your right fingertips walk down your back and you're feeling this big stretch in that right shoulder, girdle. You can feel it in your tricep muscles maybe. Oh, such a good stretch. Stay tall in your spine. Keep the middle of the chest lifted, rooting down through the feet and the sit bones. Good, and then arms overhead, reach up. Just let that go. And then that left arm is going to swing across as the right arm hooks underneath. The closer you bring your arm to your body and your chest, the more intense the stretch will be. Again, the option to reach underneath for the wrist and just pull your arm to straight across your body, keeping the top of the left shoulder nice and relaxed. Find something that works for you and try not to force anything. Remember the breath helps us to find ease within each pose. No matter what or how deep the sensation feels, the breath is going to assist us. Good, now find your elbow with that right hand, bring it up and overhead and let the fingertips of the left hand walk down your back. Gently tug that left elbow more to the right. Try to find the center line of your body. Stay lifted here. Keep your core engaged. Feel that stabilization that's being created by belly button drawing to spine. Good, deep breath in. And then exhale, let's release. Let your arms just float all the way down and give the shoulders a few good rollouts hugging them up towards your ears and rolling them back and down. Oh yeah, definitely feeling some warmth and some uh, openness in the shoulders now. And let's add on, we'll add some twists and some core work. So here we go, inhale, bring the arms up and overhead, 
Turn the pinkies in slightly. Palms are facing one another. Inner shoulders are relaxed. Again, feel that engagement of your core as you pull your navel back and you sit up nice and tall. Good, big breath in as we reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, take a twist to the right and make a T-shape with your arms. So our hips are squaring forward. It's through the shoulders, the rib cage, and the belly that we are turning. Keep your arms as straight as possible and breathe in and breathe out. Good, inhale now, come back to center, reach the arms overhead. As you exhale, airplane your arms as you lean forward at a diagonal, about 45 degrees here. Now really pull that belly button in, spread your hands nice and wide. Feel those shoulder blades meeting on your back as you spread your collarbones nice and wide. You should be very engaged here. Deep breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna release into a forward fold. Just let your body relax here. So you're just gonna let your head dangle, allow your torso to melt right down over your thighs and legs. Feel that nice lengthening of the spine and the decompression that you're creating in your low back. Maybe shake your head yes, and then no. You're letting everything go. Beautiful. Now take your arms alongside of you, plug into your feet, especially your heels, and start to roll yourself up, stacking one bone on top of the other until you come to straight. Beautiful. Breathe in and bring the arms overhead. Same sequence, other side. Exhale, take a twist and make a T-shape with your arms to the left this time. Pull the right hip back and then really turn as best you can from your navel, wrapping your left shoulder back, breathing into this beautiful ringing out sensation of our spine. Good, take a nice breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, come back to center, arms overhead. Airplane the arms as you exhale, lean forward, engage your core. Kiss those shoulder blades onto your back. Breathe into your chest. On the exhale, fold and round. Get nice and soft. Breathe into the low back. Breathe out and let something go. One more breath in. Long exhale out. Chin to chest, arms relaxed by the side. Slowly roll yourself back and up. And restack the spine nice and tall. Beautiful. Good. Now let's um, open up our legs nice and wide. You may need to scoot a little bit more forward onto the edge of your chair. And you want your knees and ankles to stack. So try to find that alignment getting the legs as wide as possible. So starting to wake up our inner leg lines and our outer hips. Go ahead and press into your right toes and lift your right heel. Really press the top of the foot away from you and feel all the muscles that are working in your leg as you do this. Lower that down, other side, left heel lifts as you plug into your left toes. Feel all the muscles in that left leg engage, keeping the knees nice and wide. We're trying not to let them kind of buckle in, but stay open nice and wide. Good, lower that heel down. Now both heels lift, pressing into the toes. Feel that engagement of your inner thighs. It's pretty deep, enjoy it. Good, and then heels come down, release, nice. Let's bring that right, forearm to the right inner thigh, you're gonna press that inner thigh open and you're gonna reach the left arm overhead. So keeping that nice lengthening feeling of our inner thigh and leg, and then lifting out of our left hip but rounding through our left sit bone, getting nice and long on the left side. 
use your elbow as a little wedge to keep the knee from buckling in. Good, let's come up and we'll take that on the other side. The left knee or the left elbow comes to the inner knee and then you reach that right arm overhead. Stretching out the right side ribs. Our body can get so compacted and tight overnight. So this kind of side stretching helps to open up all those inner coxal muscles. Breathe into that right side. Good, and then rise on up. Hands come to the thighs. We're gonna dip the right shoulder down and we're gonna press that inner thigh away one more time. This time we're twisting to look over the left shoulder. Pressing the right thigh open. Keep your spine lengthening here. Imagine that someone's pulling out through the crown of your head from your tailbone to the crown. Beautiful, come back up and let's switch sides. We're gonna press that left knee open as we twist and turn to look over the right. Keeping the spine nice and long. Breathing into the sensation. Good, and then come on up. Now walk your feet in and bring them about hips width distance apart. 90 degrees, knee over ankle. Let's begin to work our core, strengthening our core and our legs. This is the fun part. It's gonna get even more fun when we start to stand, but this is our prep work, our warm up. So you're welcome to hang on to the edge of the chair, the edge of the seat or the legs, whatever feels good to you. But we're gonna begin by focusing on our core. So I want you to breathe in and then pull your belly button towards your spine as you breathe out. So you can see the engagement here on me. I'm hugging my navel in towards my spine. Good, now keep that and keep breathing and inhale your right knee up. On the exhale, you're gonna extend the heel out nice and straight. Now we're working that quadricep muscle as well as our core. Let's point and flex that foot. Wake up the ankle, maybe a little roll. Yeah, good. Keeping nice and tall, shoulders stacked over the hips. Good, and now do a rotation out using the outer hip and then a rotation in. Rotation out and rotation in. Good, one more time, rotation out. Keep that heel nice and lifted. This time you're gonna bring the ankle to the thigh and set up for figure four. So lots of attention to this outer hip and that's because we're gonna use it in our standing posture. So we wanna get it warmed up and kind of familiar with some of the movement that we'll be asking it to do. So stacking your ankle over your knee here, allowing this right knee to open up as much as it feels possible for you. And keeping that right foot flexed, you want your ankle and your knee in the same plane. Maybe you lean forward a little bit here. This will add a little kick to the sensation of this pose. And it's also a really nice way to kind of open up your glutes, your low back and that outer hip. So do whatever feels possible for you with your range of motion today. And remember that the breath brings ease. So if we're holding a pose, we're only holding the pose, but we're not holding our breath. Continue to breathe here. Breathing right into that right outer hip. Good. And then slowly come out of that if you were leaning forward and release. We'll extend that right leg out. So you're gonna plug your heel into the floor, pull the toes back, hold on to the edge of the chair and just lean your body out. So keep your spine nice and long. Again, we'll practice that sensation of pulling navel to spine. Keep your collarbones broad and just stretch out your hamstring and your legs here. 
Good. And then bring yourself back and up. Nice work. Let's try that on the other side. <clears throat> so again, we'll start by bringing the navel towards the spine, finding that connection. This is your strengthening part, right? The core, the low back, abdominals working nice and hard. Lifting up the left leg this time and then extending the heel out. Feel your quadricep muscle turn on, feel your core turn on. Let's point and flex and point and flex. Try not to let your heel dip down too low, but keep it lifted, rolling it out and then rotating it out using the hip muscle for the rotation and then rotating it in. And you can feel that if you're doing it properly, rotating it out and rotating it in. Rotate it out, and then this time bring the ankle to the right thigh. Set yourself up for your figure four stretch here. It's helpful to be on the edge of your chair seat because <clears throat> you wanna feel the openness of your legs as you do this. So you don't wanna to be too far back. And then if you add in the lean, you'll stretch your chest out over your front shin, breathing into it on this side. Oh, such a great stretch, especially for those of us that do a lot of sitting. This is a wonderful stretch and it's a great way to open up those outer hips. Outer hips are our stabilizers. They help us with balance. We'll be doing a little balancing in this class, so hang on, we'll get there. Good. And then bring yourself back and in and let's release that, extending the left leg out this time. The heel grounding to the floor, toes drawn back. Hang on to the edge of your seat and lean forward. Get a nice stretch in your hamstring. Straightening the leg as much as possible. If it's too tight, absolutely keep a gentle bend or a generous bend, whatever feels right for you. Oh, hamstrings always need a little extra love as far as I'm concerned. Okay, good job guys. Let's go ahead and come to stand. And I think I'm gonna need to move my puppy dog. So give me just a second as I fix the camera. And I relocate Mr. Blue Dog. We'll put him up here, because we're gonna need this space and all the length of the mat. So we're gonna uh, <clears throat> face the back of our chair. And hopefully you have your chair on a non-slip uh, surface, yoga mat or floor or carpet, whatever it is. And you're gonna place both hands on the back of the chair about shoulder width distance apart and walk your feet back so that your heels are still grounded. <clears throat> no further than that, we don't want the heels lifted. Good. Now, as you inhale, I want you to come forward as if you were doing a push-up and let your elbows bend in towards your rib cage. As you exhale, straighten the arms. Little plank push-ups here. Inhale with a nice long spine, draw your chest forward. Elbows bend back towards your ribs. Exhale as you straighten. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, come forward. Elbows bend, they like little grasshopper arms, they stay close by your side. And then exhale, press to straight. Now walk your feet out a little bit further. Feet about hips width distance apart and go ahead and let your chest just melt down between your arms. Coming into downward facing dog. Our heels are on the floor. Our neck is in line with our spine. Our shoulders are softening and drawing down our back. And we're gently pressing the ribs back and down. Stretch out the shoulders, lengthen your spine. Feel a nice decompression in your back. Good, let's take another breath in here and a long exhale out. 
Good, beautiful, lift the head and walk yourself forward. And let's come into some of those standing poses. Hopefully your body feels nice and open now. And we're gonna work the lower half of our body, getting into our legs, practicing our balance. So stand to face the back of the chair once again. And we'll step our left leg back. We're gonna go ahead and stay on the ball of the back foot. So the back heel is gonna be lifted. Square your chest and your hips off as you bend into your front knee, bringing the right knee right over the right ankle. Practice your balance by lifting one arm off the back of the chair and then maybe the other. If your back leg needs to be bent in order to do this pose, please keep it bent. Otherwise, as you feel stable and steady, press the heel back and straighten the leg to any degree. Relax your inner shoulders. Really press into your legs, feel them strengthening. And we're having fun, right? And then on an exhale, bring your right hand down Bring your left arm back and drop your left heel down. So now we're squaring to the long side of our mat. So our shoulders and our hips are square. Walk your right foot in so that the heel of the foot lines up with the arch of your back foot. We're gonna stay bent in that front knee and you're gonna press strongly into the blade of your left foot, right on that outer edge. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Hold on to the back of the chair lightly and bring the left arm up. Good, breathe in and lengthen that side. Breathe out and then lean to the right. This is called extended side angle. We're creating a beautiful long line and angle of energy along the left side of the body. Maybe you turn your gaze up and underneath your left arm. Stay strong in your legs. Press into the outer edge of that back foot. Strengthen and turn on that back leg. Good. And then straighten the front leg and bring that left arm straight up. Now you can hold on to the back of the chair. This is called triangle pose. We're making a nice stable triangle with our legs. Or maybe you release your hand to your inner thigh or calf. Press the back of the hand into the leg and then maybe turn your chest a little bit more. What we're doing is wrapping our right ribs underneath us, wrapping the left shoulder back and opening up to the long side of the mat. Big pose to strengthen the legs. Take your breaths here. Find some ease with your breathing. Good. Now come up with straight arms and straight legs, like a T-shape with the arms, good. And then exhale, re-bend into your front knee. Everything stays the same. This is warrior two pose. Track your knee over your middle toe. Make sure it's not rolling in or rolling too far out. You want it right down the center line. Good, big breath in. Settle into it, big breath out. Maybe you get a little bit lower. Good, now we're gonna cartwheel our arms to the back of the chair and lift up on that back heel. So you're pivoting onto the ball of your back foot. Yes, heel is lifted. Square yourself off once again. This time we're gonna take left hand to the back of the chair and the right arm is gonna open to the right as we twist. Pull your back heel back and lengthen that back leg and gently tug your right hip back. Maybe your right arm reaches towards the back of your mat, thumb pointing up. Maybe you turn your gaze in that direction as well. Take one more breath in and on the exhale, bring the right hand to meet the left, step the left foot up to meet the right. Take a moment here, close your eyes. Feel the energy that you're creating in your body. Definitely some warmth. 
definitely that chi or your life force, your prana moving. Good. Let's do that on the other side. I'm just going to switch my chair around. You can stay right where you are. Good. Hands shoulder width distance apart on the back of the chair. We're stepping our right leg back this time. The left knee is forward. Good. Stack that knee over the ankle. Bring the back leg to as straight as possible. That back heel will be lifted as you're on the ball of your back foot. Now, ground through the legs and bring one or both hands overhead. Keep a nice open chest. Keep your gaze forward. Feel that rooting sensation through the strength of your legs. Relax your shoulders down. Put a big smile on your face. This is fun and it's strengthening. Big breath in. And then on the exhale, that left hand is going to come down and you're going to pivot open to the long side of the mat, dropping the right heel down. Take a moment to adjust for your alignment, the heel of the foot intersecting the arch of the back foot. Drop into your front knee and square the hips, the torso and the shoulders to the long side of the mat. Plug into the outer edge of your back foot, really engage that back leg and then bring the right arm up. On the exhale, we're gonna lean off to the left stretching out the right side of our body. Maybe you rotate your chest just a little bit more up to the sky, taking your gaze with you. Strengthening those legs, working them nice and hard. You guys are doing a great job. Breathe in. On the exhale, we're gonna bring that right arm up and straighten the left leg. Trikonasana pose, triangle pose. Maybe you want to rotate the chest just a little bit more. Maybe you want to try releasing the left hand down and pressing the back of it into your inner leg. Roll your right shoulder back and tuck your left sit bone underneath you. Ground down evenly through both legs. Good. On the in breath, we rise up straight arms and straight legs. Radiate some energy out through your fingertips. Take a nice breath in. On the exhale, re-bend into your front knee. Warrior two pose. Yes, nice vertical spine. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Legs are turned on. Broadness across the front of your chest. Feel your tailbone lengthening down. Maybe you drop into the pose just a little bit more. Good, one more breath. On the exhale, we're gonna cartwheel the hands and we're gonna pivot on the ball of the back foot, lifting the heel up. Coming into our twisted lunge, square yourself off. Hang on with the right hand and bring the left arm up as you turn open to the left. Encourage your left hip back. Straighten the right leg as much as possible. And then maybe you sweep that left arm all the way back. And maybe you turn your gaze to look at your thumb. Big opening across the front of the chest. Nothing changes in the legs. Breathe in. As you breathe out, the hand returns to the back of the chair. Big step forward, right foot meets the left. Woo, lots of energy, right, that we're creating here. Let's give everything a little bit of a shake. And now we're gonna work a little more with that rotation. So we did the seated variation with the leg turning out and the foot turning in and out. Now we're gonna do it in a standing situation. So we'll start with our left leg as our standing leg. We're gonna walk the feet back just a little bit further, not all the way back for downward facing dog, but about halfway there. Hanging on with both hands, let's flex the right foot and send it straight back behind us. 
Keep the toes turned down. So this is the internal rotation. We're wrapping the front of that right hip down towards the mat, squaring it off. Bend into your elbows and try to level out your chest so that the chest, the hips, and the heel are all in one plane. Warrior three here. This is a strong balancing pose. I know you can feel your left leg turned on, especially those outer hip muscles working to help stabilize you. Find your navel and pull it towards your spine if you haven't already, a nice core engagement. Now hang on with your left hand, bring your right hand to your right hip. And let's do a little rotation, turning open to the right side of the mat. We're gonna square the hips here if we can, keeping our right leg lifted. Stay here or maybe lift the right arm as well. Balancing half moon. This is a strong pose. You're pressing out through that right heel. The right foot is flexed. Your left leg is engaged. Your right leg is engaged. Your core is engaged. And you're radiating energy out all directions. One more breath in. On the exhale, bring the hand back. Bring the leg back. And come to stand. Close your eyes and bring both hands together in front of your heart. Take a moment to feel the energy coursing through you. Take a moment in gratitude for that life force. And take a moment to thank yourself for showing up and doing the work. Our bodies are always happy whenever we finish the practice our minds and our spirits as well. So thank yourself for being here. Good, ease the eyes open. Let's do that on the other side to balance this out. Strong standing pose. You guys got this. All right, walk the feet back about halfway. Not all the way back like downward facing dog, about halfway. We're gonna hang on to the back of the chair with both hands and then flexing that left foot, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna try to bring it in line with our sit bone. Now take that left hip and wrap it down towards the ground so that instead of it popping open, you've got it facing down towards the mat. Good. Try to bend into the elbows and lower the chest, chest, hips and heel, all in the same plane. Warrior three, turn on the outer muscles of your right leg, keep that left foot flexed, engage, and then left hand to left hip, start to turn open. Now you can turn open to the long side of your mat, rotating that left hip open, chest open, good. Keep your left foot engaged and flexed. Maybe that left arm comes up as well. Feel energy just pouring out of all points in the body. Engage your core. Engage both legs. Good. And then release. Hands come down. Legs come down. Now let's walk it out to downward facing dog. Give yourself like a rinse here. Ha. Ah, big breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Sinking the chest down, pulling the tailbone back, letting the spine lengthen out. Let's bend one knee and then the other and just kind of walk it out in place. Oh, so good. All right, guys. Lift yourself up, walk your feet in, give yourself a little pat on the back. That was a strong flow. Come back to your seats. This time we'll sit all the way back into the chair, giving ourselves permission to relax. Ground your feet, stack your ankles and your knees, and rest your hands gently on your thighs. Give your eyes a close. Relax the shoulders. 
and release any tension in your jaw, maybe separating your lips a little bit here. And then with eyes closed, let's just take a few moments to bear witness to our breath. Noticing the rise and fall of our chest, our ribs, our belly. Just becoming attuned to the rhythm of our breathing without changing anything about it. And if you can, just filter out any other thoughts, allowing all your awareness and attention to just be on your breath, bringing you into this present moment. Feeling the wonderful glow of the body and our energy after our yoga practice. Feeling as if we were lit up from the inside out, radiating our own beams of sunshine. Let's bring our hands together in front of our hearts. Let your thumbs press towards the middle of your chest. And let's take a deep breath in together. Open your mouth and let it go with a sigh. Let's ease the eyes open here and we're gonna to bow to one another to say namaste. Acknowledging that beautiful light within each of us. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun and strengthening chair yoga class. I hope it brought you uh, joy and sunshine and that your days will be filled with that. I look forward to bringing you more classes like this. Please thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. I would appreciate it. Thank you, yogis. Have a sunshine filled day. Namaste.